Welcome back to Sports Prophecy TV, guys, and I'm your host, Jay Taylor. As you know, it's been reported that there's inner fighting, guys, in the GFF between Coach Jaime Hallgrimson and the president as they are disagreements on whether or not Jamaica should play the friendly so close to the Gold Cup this summer. It's slated that Jamaica is to play the United States on June 24th at Soldier Field in the USA. As we know, this is basically a home game for the United States. It's a big game for Jamaica. So I'm thinking the coach more wants to have his team pe um, prepare a bit earlier before they end up playing this opener. However, it seems like the GFF has secured some games for the um, um, for the coach, but the coach is not in alignment with the GFF as to the date and the time. And here is where professionalism comes into play. Here is where a coach who has previously taken a team to the World Cup comes in. Under previous head coaches, I think they would have took these two games and just said, okay, great job, JFF. You had booked two games for us, and now we will play these two friendlies and enter the Gold Cup. However, Coach Jaime Hallgrims has pushed back this time, guys. He has pushed back on the JFF, and he has turned down the games. So now the JFF is stuck with the task of sourcing other games, and this is a big move for the head coach. It also shows he's independent-minded. He cannot be controlled. He's working within a federation, but he's working as his own entity. And this is where head coaches tend to get that respect from a federation. Because there are times if the head coach becomes too close to the federation, the federation can then get more leniency from the head coach. But it seems like Coach Jaime Algrimsa is playing the perfect balancing act. He knows he's working for the GFF, but he also knows at the end of the day, the box stops with him on the field when it comes on to football. And here is his first push back on the GFF. So as we know, it's been reported, guys, that the GFF president, Mr. Ricketts, he um he's um he has reported that he's now looking to find two other games and the federation is now in contact with other federation where they could try to reschedule games. I hope Jamaica gets two friendlies, but I also agree with the coach because the turnover time for Jamaica cannot be too short. Remember, if you, any team is gonna win the Gold Cup, you're gonna be playing six games. Three games in the first round and three games in the second round. And players are going to break down. Players are going to get injured. As you know, Leon Bailey is coming off an injury. Jamaica is also planning to bolster their squad with the Everton winger, Damari Gray. I'm sure the coach would want to take a look at these players. But I'm sure the coach wouldn't want to risk losing these players before the tournament starts two days before the tournament and three days before the tournament. So, good move by Coach Jaime Hallgrimson. I still, however, also hope that the GFF can pull off getting two friendlies because I cannot pick any sides on this coin as either way, it's a catch-22. If we don't play two friendlies, then the team actually doesn't prepare well for the Gold Cup. And if we do play the friendlies that the GFF has schedule which is so close to the Gold Cup it could be a potential where players get injured or players break down so it's important that the GFF and Coach Jaime Hallgrims does find a medium and get it right so thank you guys for tuning in again to Sports Prophecy TV and I'm your host Jay Taylor and until next time see you